I'll operate us to the floor. Cameras Come up. In three, two. Well, my queens, I think we've heard enough. While you untuck backstage, the judges and I will deliberate. You may leave the stage. I'm disappointed. Being back, I need to be like above and beyond flawless. And I'm questioning, was I pushing myself as hard as I could have? Because I know I deserve to stay. Unfortunately, what I consider ugly is not reading for the panel of judges. So tonight, I could be in the bottom. Sweet. Sweet. All right, Josh, let's count them in, please. Drive a bitch to drink. That was a nice funeral. <laughs> bitch is quiet. <laughs> I'll sit next to you, even though I'm mad at you. <laughs> There's this part of Pearl that's like too cool for season seven, and that frustrates me because I'm fighting to stay. And she knows what I'm talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't think I'm too cool for season seven at all. I'm actually really surprised to hear that from her. You are talented, you have been succeeding here, but those things that you say, the conversations that we've had, I would never say while in this competition. Like what? I've seen her have a, a whole range of non-positive qualities that I don't think are ideal in a competition like this. You were saying like, that's not my thing, I'm never gonna be like that kind of girl, and I'm like, we're all fighting to be oh a part of God. this. Oh my God, that was like, one horrible day that I had that I wanted to go home. I don't know. I know you don't know because I've never given okay. any like indication besides when I had a really horrible week and got right over it. Fame's reasoning for Pearl being the one that needed to go home was valid weeks ago. But she broke down that wall, she came out of her shell, and she has fought to be here ever since. So the only thing I want to do at this point is turn to fame and say, shut the f up. I can like understand what fame is talking about because I'm like, damn, does she really want to be here? But after getting to know Pearl and know that, you know, bitch, that's just how Pearl is, I mean, that does not mean that you care any more or any less. It's right, I just have a very laid back vibe. <laughs> To be honest, I like I freak out about everything in this competition, and I wish I was a little more f***ing chill. You know what I mean? Like, you could stare down the barrel of the gun and lip sync and not fall apart, and like, I wish I was more like that. Well, you know, it's weird because outside of Drag Race, people like really admire and respect my attitude, and they reflect off of it, and I feel like I help people relax and be chill. But up in here, <laughs> it's like, oh, you're not stressed out? What does that mean? You don't want to be here? That's what it's about. Just because I'm not like that girl doesn't mean that I'm too cool to be here. All right, well then I misunderstood you and I'm sorry. Well, don't tell me that, tell them that. It's too late, it's been said. <laughs> I know. Don't worry about it, because you'll be fine. Miss Fame totally threw me under the bus on the stage and I never expected that. I thought she was my friend. I could be totally because of that. It's unfortunate we have to throw names out like that, but it had to happen and mine was the one that was called up the most, so I'm going to Survive. RuPaul asks who deserves to go home at this point. And most of these bitches said me. It's not like I don't get it. I'm pretty and people hate me. 
<laughs> you know, it's I like, it, okay, but, but it I just sucks. feel like I pep talk a lot and like, I'm worried about other people's needs. I'm like, go girl, go. And I should be telling myself that instead of worrying about other people. Well, absolutely, it's a game, girl. I, I mean, it's and a competition. Like, and as much as I love all of you, like, I hear that. at the end of the day, I gotta look oh, out for that's myself. That's just like how I've always been. It's hard to detach that. I hate that, I'm fucking emotional. Like, I'm so irritated Don't about that. Don't hate that you're emotional. You can, you can Oh, Jesus, please. Get it together, Mary. It's hard. It's really hard. It just sucks when you're comparing, like, but like having a you're pick great. Like that, that's Somebody the, else that's is amazing. It like, makes you yeah. feel like you're <laughs> you know? Yeah, it sucks. It's a horrible feeling, but girl, it's a competition. And despite what people think, I definitely want to win. I, had a, I didn't I super understand what you said. You know, Trixie got to come back in this competition and she should be looked at with a magnifying lens. So I just feel like it should be Trixie. Was it because I got eliminated? It's just like you were really quick to pick Ginger, me knowing that Ginger is really, really strong in this kind of thing. And it may have been a smarter idea for you to pick someone who's not as strong so you can shine more. If I do uh, an amazing job, if Ginger does a more amazing job, I shouldn't be punished just because my scene partner, she was amazing. I but agree I still did with that. Amazing. But like being that you're back, you should be under a huge magnifying glass. But do I deserve to go home? Violet needs to just worry about performing and not worry about me. I deserve to be here. Should I be under scrutiny? Yes. But going home means I did something and they liked my runway look and my performance. So I was confused that you said me. I mean, I didn't want to say anybody, but if I had to really think about it, I mean, this is not something that I focus on regularly, and it's like, I feel like I'm uncomfortable. I'm literally uncomfortable. <laughs> you bitch, <laughs> you. I actually like violence. Your, your thing is truly disgusting. Well, it took me like a million, I'm like, how can I make this uglier? You look like a drunk lesbian at a gay a pride parade. <laughs> <laughs> How about Pearl looks like me this week, and the first thing Michelle says is, bitch, the makeup. <laughs> I started laughing because you look, yeah. I think the most hideous thing about you tonight is your makeup. <laughs> I was going for Trixie's normal mug tonight. I can tell you, your makeup is horrendous. <laughs> Who do you guys think it is, be real? In the bottom? Yeah. It's either me I or want to it's say somebody it's in our group. And Pearl. It's somebody in our group. It's probably gonna be me because we've been friends. Because you like to send together. friends oh home. My God. <laughs> That's right. Bye bye. Who do you guys think won? I think Ginger won. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. If I did win, and I don't know, girl, because it can always go anyway, it would be incredible because John Waters kind of like formed my life when I was growing up. The thing about John Waters movies is it's these actors who like super, super commit to these ridiculous situations. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's not actors mostly. I mean, these are like legit people with quirks. Yeah, delinquents. And yeah. to be asked to play these roles that you already know, but play them in your own way, but also pay homage Maybe I'm to the original way it's done, like, it's hard. Katia. Yeah. You look like Shaka Khan, bitch. Yeah. No, girl, she's given me cowardly lion with an identity crisis. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> and she's been clean and sober for a year Bitch, and a half. <laughs> she this is the face it. of sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> this she have I said a to her, I said, you may be sober, but I could tell by the self that you still hate yourself. <laughs> what did she call you? Ratchet Raggedy Ann. That's what I felt like. I felt like Raggedy Ann at the foothills of the Appalachians. Watch, watch that bitch win this whole thing. I'm, co I'm coming watch from behind. Win. I'm coming from the back porch. Aren't you always coming from behind? But you know what? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad because that bitch has entertained you know, me every I single time. I wouldn't be time. mad. Are you kidding me? When you were like, did you expect me to still be here? And, and I was you were like, like, she's like crickets. It's like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, because if I'm enthusiastic about someone's drag, it's usually a bad a sign. A bad sign. Yeah. <laughs> everything I thought this competition was going to be, it hasn't been. And everything I thought I was going to feel about it, I haven't felt. It's just been, everything has been different. I don't know. I find it amusing that when I got back, I said, how's everything been going? And you said, when I think I'm lip syncing, I get rewarded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. RuPaul said I'm addicted to anxiety. Not so sober after all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never heard that before, and it was actually pretty illuminating. How'd you learn how to pronounce illuminating? <laughs> 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 I'll give you my Can we? You got a lighter? Oh, I got one, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you say anything, I know that over the past few weeks you've been a little insecure about how good I look, so I just want to, like, clear the air. You know what? You do look pretty stunning. I was stunned. It's yeah. the best way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. I, start. I can see it on your face. I know you think you're a good actress, but you can't hide it. Seeing you walk around the corner was literally like a tase to the face. <laughs> Which is cheaper than Botox, I'd like you to <laughs> perfect, know. Perfect, perfect. It'll come in handy okay. for you. No, for real. Okay, like, for real, real? I knew that they were gonna buy that that violet wrapped around herself and called the ugliest dress in the world. But I mean, it's ugly. But it's not, girl. It's, it's not ugly. It's not ugly, ugly. It's just like... It's ugly because she literally took everything off the wall and threw it on herself. Yeah. And she'd look around and say, oh, that person's doing pom-pom balls. I'm gonna do pom-pom balls. That person's doing rhinestones and sequins. I'm gonna do rhinestones and sequins. I mean, good for her. Yeah, whatever. I'm just sick of them buying every thing that she does. Yeah. Do you think she's gonna have to lip sync? No. You don't think so? I really don't. I don't think she will. Guess who? <laughs> I'm back. I see you. How did they not think Kennedy's dress was ugly? Well, it's not the ugliest dress ever. In the right context, that dress would work. Oh, bitch. It's true. <laughs> no, man. I feel like bear. I'm the only, like, in, in no context, in no time period, would my dress ever be acceptable to wear anywhere. Miss Mima wearing that to Easter Sunday would be sick. No, ma'am, you my I could see a granny wearing that. No, ma'am, uh, not mine. Not Trust yours. and believe. She may have got it a car, little me, she gonna put it on, cause I snatch it off. <laughs> I let her know. No, ma'am, granny. Uh-uh. Can we all agree that if fame doesn't lip sync tonight, we, we need her. a protest or we'll something? There's no way the bitch isn't lip syncing tonight. <sighs> cause I feel like she's gone as far as she can go. Every single week, they tell her to do something different. Yeah. I mean, I get it. She's not a performer, so these perf all these... Everyone stop talking. Serving you some Mrs. Doubtfire realness. Are you mad at her? Or is she mad at you? Or what's going on? I think it was just a cheap shot, you know? It you know, and really here's the thing. I got to tell you something. Place. Your temperament is something that I've, like, coveted for the past, like, 15 years. You're just not, you don't appear to be a very high, strong person. I'm not. And that's the biggest asset in this competition. I thought so. There's no biggest asset in this competition. Well, my natural beauty has been a big asset. Huge. You've just been a big ass. <laughs> I think Ginger's gonna win. Probably so. <laughs> Fishy, girl. Oh. Oh. Have you won besides the first week? Mm-mm. And Kennedy, you won twice, right? Mm hmm You won the... the... the parody one. Uh-huh. And you won Snatch Game. Uh-huh. Can y'all get back in here? Okay. Cause bitch, I'm about to go to sleep. This bitch is about to have me pass out. Get in here and wake us up! I'm telling you now, I'm about to go in. Girl, you're killing me over here, Miss Kennedy. <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> she looks like a duck that's about to lay an egg. <laughs> no nails, no jewelry. Nine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who are you sexting? This mother wears the tightest pants with that biggest bulge and likes to stand there on his phone taunting us in every single way possible. Mm-hmm. You know you want this crocheted pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this texture. You know what that means? I don't either. It means she's super absorbent. <laughs> Girl, I would love to just dip the tip of it right into this puddle and watch it all go. It's a bob. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a sleek bob. <laughs>
I can't believe that you sat there and drank that entire beverage and did not offer that wig one sip. It is so thirsty. How long before we go into this? I'm always nervous about this. I know. Even if I feel like, bitch, there's no way I can't at least be safe. You never know. So just come on, do it. Pull that trigger. That's getting old, girl. You've been doing real good. <laughs> Till last week. It's gonna happen at least once. Uh, there's been a small handful of girls that made it all the way to top three without ever being in the bottom. Alaska never lip synced, did she? No, I don't think so. Um, Sharon. All right, let's go back in. Let's go back in. I'm gonna go pee pee before I lip sync one last time. I have to go pee. I have to pee too, but it's too far. Come with me. Kennedy, it's all you, girl. You can handle Untucked, right? Man. Oh, I am real by myself. Ain't there some booze? Y'all need to come back over here. Girl, what the hell are you doing? Girl, that, you know, you left me with boring people. <laughs> <laughs> Lavender and broke down Barbie. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Girl, somebody's gonna go home today. That means we're gonna be down to six. We're gonna be down to six, girl. <laughs> Whoa, Ginger, you can count. <laughs> we're gonna be down no, to six. No, we should girl. be down to a five, but right, they brought you back. Troll. But I'm glad I'm you came sorry. back. I'm glad you came back. I am too. And you know what actually warmed my heart when I came back? You all said, I hate that someone's here, but I'm glad it's you. Yeah, it's and true. It's a lot. It's true. Well, I'm a really good liar, so. Then why aren't you a better actor? <gasps> That's all true. acting is. It's true. Why are you so obsessed with me? I can't help it, Trixie. Pearl's copying You're like my <laughs> friend of me. I told you about hey, your mouth. Lady. I'm not with you anymore. Five minutes like... to head back to the main stage. Thank five you, five. You can do your touch ups and get ready. Thank you very much. I forgot my powder. Can I use someone's translucent powder? You can use mine, it's in my bag. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous right now. This might be the first time the judges see me lip sync on the main stage. I know I'm going up to lip sync. I'm gonna hunt that mother down. Part of me is anxious, and a part of me feels I'm ready. Okay, queens, everyone, ready for you on set? If everybody wants to follow me this way, please. Yeah, Ooh, thank that. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. Pearl is fame. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are both up for elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Pearl, Shantae, you stay. Miss Fame, your 15 minutes with us may be up, but your legend will live forever. Now, sashay away. The Cosmic Queen departs. My sickening six, congratulations. And remember, you can't love yourself, why darn it. How in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Oh, amen. amen. Can I buy a vow? <laughs> All right, well then let the music play. I came here with my heart, I wanted to be an inspiration to people that know me, 
to my family because I feel like they needed somebody to see that you could be so brave. And, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm snotting out of my nose, so there goes the elegance. I feel like I came in here and, you know, I just was true to myself. Even if people said something against me, I didn't let it affect my authenticity. I kept my end of me here. I'm gonna hug everybody I know and love and I'm gonna put all my energy as soon as I land in New York to the next indicated step in my courage and my bravery as Miss Fame. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hi. Hi John Water. Hi. Such good sports and everything. Hi. So good. It was really great to watch. <laughs> oh, it was oh great. God. It was so great to be able to see those. Who would have ever thought those movies from 30, 40 years ago would come out today? We're, uh, I know. we're doing it on TV. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Who thought any of us would that be on TV? Crazy, right? yeah. <laughs> But these are really beautiful on. You have no idea. It's okay. You'll see them in other ways. I mean, I stayed for three quarters of the season. I feel like it's going to help me in the long run. You know, so what I failed here, what I did stand for, and what I did stick to, and my story, I think, are going to elevate me in the world beyond this show. Gonna see each other again. One day, I won't be I'm gonna push myself into the stratosphere of art and creation, and I don't need to be here till the end to do that because what I came here to do has been done, and there's no limitation from this point forward. Okay, up the road. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Or a blog. This is just the beginning of me leaving a beauty mark on the face of the planet. I'm excited. So thank you for everything. Bye bye. Drag Race, Monday nights on Logo. See you next Tuesday.